Now I don't know about you, but I've never been really happy with the look of my cock. Don't get me wrong, I still think it's a stunning locomotive, but the black plastic valve gear just looks wrong, and when compared to the real thing, you can see why. Welcome back to the workbench, how you doing? In this video I'm going to suggest one simple way to sort out the black plastic that should be metal. Comparing the model with the real thing shows we have several rods that should be shiny metal and only three parts that should be black. My idea is to use a metallic silver sharpie pen to colour in the relevant parts. Let's begin. Carefully follow the line of the rods. Remembering to do the three sides, top, face and bottom with the sharpie pen. Be careful not to get ink on any other parts. It may be necessary to stroke the rods twice or more to get an even coverage. On the other side I noticed the reverser lever should also be shiny metal, easily fixed with this method. Now both sides are done, set the loco to one side and allow the ink to dry. Now it's time to tone down the silver. To do this we're going to use IPA and cotton buds. Very slightly moisten the cotton bud with IPA. Gently draw the cotton bud along the silvered area, then dry with the other end. Take your time. If you find you take off too much, simply reapply. If there are areas where the silver should not be, just allow the IPA a little bit more time and remove it. Don't get IPA on your low-coast paintwork. Now the cock of the north is looking like the specially turned out engine she no doubt was. You can redo the IPA and cotton bud process to further reduce the silver if you like. All in all, I think this simple method brings nice results, and if you don't like it, simply fully remove it by adding more IPA to the cotton bud. Take care for now.